Hey guys, I'm back with the milk. So hey guys, it's been a while. Like two years, but you know it happens, it happens. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, we'll be talking about Let's Play. Let's Play is a webcomic on webtoon drawn and written by Manji. The best way to summarize this comic is literally about this girl named Sam Young who likes video games and makes an indie game herself called Ruminate. She gets a lot of praise for her indie game with everyone saying it's the most amazing thing ever, that the game is awesome, and etc etc. But of course, it all comes crashing down when a gaming YouTuber named Martial Law makes a video about her game. Martial Law doesn't play it properly and doesn't really attempt to even try to find a way to finish the game, which leads to him giving it a bad review, saying that it's unplayable. So then, in comes the Martial Law stance saying how the game sucks and it's the worst thing ever and that it killed her grandma. You know, all that hardcore shit just because their lord and savior Martial Law said that they don't like the game. So of course, this makes Sam depressed since her game legit just got ruined by Martial Law stance. And you know, she wants to clear her head, so she decides to go out for a walk with her dog, Bowser. She sees boxes outside next to her apartment and wonders who her new neighbor could be. And what do you know, she just conveniently runs into that new neighbor. And what do you know, it just so happened to be the guy that ruined her game, Martial Law. I know, what a big coincidence. And now you have to read what shenanigans to get into and all that. Not gonna lie, the plot seems really interesting when I first read it and when I like, you know, I first discovered it when I was younger. But of course, my interest as the comic went on didn't last very long. But before I get too ahead of myself, let me first talk about the art style. So two main things that catch my attention when finding a comic is the plot slash writing and the art style. And I believe that the art style in Let's Play honestly isn't bad. I think that the art style is actually pretty good. Hell, I will even say that I actually like the art style in the beginning of the comic. It's what made me want to continue reading Let's Play to even like begin with. And I like how visually, mental health, auras, and just overall how the characters are feeling are portrayed in the comic. Like when it comes to Monica who's Marshall's like girlfriend at the start of the comic having a wolf aura to show her being the strong and confident character. And the best example when it comes to mental health being portrayed would be martial law when it comes to his depression and how he feels he has to switch from how he normally is to the persona he portrays online and the people around him. And I also like how it shows like an actual switch being used to switch his personality. I know, it sucks, I know. Anyways. Even the scene when he finishes replaying Ruminate after Sam asks him to and having to see how she gave him a thanks to him, realizing how much damage he did to her game. Seeing the feelings how he feels regret, guilt, and depression start mixing together honestly made the scene a whole lot better. Then there were the health parts that were fading away when he passed out after telling her that the game was good, which is a nice detail I want to get into more later. One thing I will say that I didn't like as much was the background characters because of how realistic they look. I think it looks a little weird. Mostly like the people in the background that look realistic when like all the other characters like the main ones are like all 2D. And as an artist, I get that drawing backgrounds and people in, in that background is hard but I still think that it looks a little off. Like I personally just think it looks a little off. Like that's the only thing that sort of bothered me when it comes to the art. But moving on, the next thing I want to discuss about is the characters. I won't lie, when it comes to the characters, I either like them, I'm neutral about them, or I dislike them. Like when it comes to Sam, I'm mainly on the neutral side. I don't mind her, she's not a bad character. But at the same time, I don't really like her as much as I did at first. This has to do with the writing changing over time, which I'll get into a little more on later on. But when it comes to Sam and how she like acts, I just get so much secondhand embarrassment. I'm like, girl, please, I beg of you for my sanity and for your sanity, please stop. But moving on, it's the same with like the other characters where I'm just like, oh, you're here now. So I guess it's nice seeing you. Like, for example, when it comes to Sam's friends, when it comes to, like, Link, who used to be, like, Sam's love interest in the beginning of the comic, and, like, other characters, I'm just like, well, you're here, so... Hi. <laughs> like, I don't get that excited to see some of them. And 
you know, I won't say that there's not characters that I don't get excited for, though. Because there's honestly still characters that, like, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm so happy to see you on my screen. <laughs> for example, like, Monica. Like, I love seeing her. She was one of my favorites. And from what I was hearing, there was a lot of people who hated her for some reason. Which I hear happens a lot in romance comics since they could be considered, like, a threat with a ship. Which I find personally stupid, but whatever. Moving on. And even Marshall, I actually like seeing him in my screen most of the time because he made me laugh. He was stupid, so of course. <laughs> and lastly, there's Sam's dad, who I also like seeing because, you know, he made me laugh. But, you know, he did take it a little too far at times with being like the most overprotective dad in the world. But nonetheless, I like seeing him. But, you know, not gonna lie, he does have a flaw. And that's like his employment, who is like, you know, also like his daughter is like, um, boss. And if you know who I'm talking about, the aggravating voice, Charles. Charles is Sam's boss, who is also her love interest later on in the comic. A lot of people who have dropped this webtoon have mentioned that they don't like him for various reasons. And some, I'm pretty sure dropped it because of him. <laughs> One of them being, at least for me, when it comes to not liking him, was when he was imagining Ava, who is Marshall's sister, and Monica make out while they're fighting about who knows about Marshall's, like, you know, health more and what's good for him. While they're in the room where Marshall's literally passed out in the hospital. Yeah, I personally thought this thing was weird. Mostly the comments at the time with them saying, They're showing his kink, you said. <laughs> How funny is that? Mostly since Eve's always so serious. I get that a serious character doing something or saying something you wouldn't really expect them to say is funny. But my brother in Christ, how is this funny this is just so weird at least for me personally for me i found this really weird another thing i was gonna mention that like it's another reason why people don't like him was when he grabbed ava's face very harshly when ava was trying to get him mad so for context ava and charles know each other due to them going to fencing classes together and ava and charles used to have a little thing going on with them you know hooking up and basically while they're in their, you know, like, fencing class, Ava kept being, like, you know, mean to him and trying to get a rise out of him to get him mad. And Charles was basically saying, you're not acting quite ladylike. And Ava said, well, don't you like confident women? When she proceeds to get close to her, you know, he looks like he might kiss her. But psych, he instead grabs her face very harshly saying how she should know the difference between being a confident woman and being a bitch and then leaves. Bro, if I was her, personally, I would have shattered myself right then and there if someone grabbed me like that. I know Ava was in the wrong in a way for trying to get him mad and all, but it still does not excuse the behavior that, like, Charles betrayed in this scene. And I could mention way more of your stuff that, you know, Charles has done that also made people not like him. But this video is gonna be super, super long. So I'll put in the description a video by... Teti A, I hope I said this correctly, um, who goes more in depth about Charles, like, character and all that, so I recommend you to watch it after this video, please. But anyways, <laughs> but moving on from the characters, let's now talk about everyone's favorite topic, the plot in the writing. So, I know I said I was talking about the plot and stuff, but Charles is very important to the plot, and I first need to talk about him and his backstory. But I would also like to point out that when I first started this comic, I thought I was gonna be seeing, like, Marshall and Sam's, like, relationship being focused on since the advertisement in the beginning of the comic made it seem like that. I thought I was gonna see Sam and Marshall, like, trying to get along as neighbors, to them being friends, to them, you know, being like, hee <laughs> hee. I think I like you. You know, to them having feelings. But little did I know, I was fucking wrong. <laughs> because that didn't, like, start until season three. And people may argue, well, I mean, they talk every now and then. They were developing friendship. I understand that, but it didn't seem like that until season three. And don't get me wrong, 
at least they became friends in season three they're not miraculous ladybug bad but you know it's just so interesting to me that that happened mainly right after marshall broke up with his girlfriend so you know and a lot of people it's like oh well it was bound to happen and i get that you know it was bound to happen because of like what we would see every now and then how the relationship was but it just seems so off to me how like in season three is when they barely started to like you know try to become friends and all that you know like i was like okay whatever but anyways the point i want to get across here is that since marshall and sam's relationship wasn't being focused on a lot it was instead focusing on sam's relationship with someone else which is charles which i will get into more later on i first want to talk about his backstory since it plays a very big part to it it's hinted that charles used to be married back then but got a divorce with the hint being that he got cheated on by his wife. And we get to see this hint due to flashbacks. It's later on confirmed when Charles talks to Sam about his past that that's exactly what happened, in which Charles, Charles' wife, who was pregnant at the time, cheated on him. What makes it even worse is that the baby she was pregnant with wasn't even his. So because of this, as much as time has passed on, he still gets tormented about the past, which is why it's hard for him to form any type of romantic relationship with anybody which is why when it comes to his health bars it was frozen since he closed himself off when it comes to forming any type of romantic relationship with anybody since he doesn't want to get hurt again of course it all changes when sam comes into his life when his heart starts melting basically indicating that he's starting to have feelings for her but of course since he doesn't want to get hurt again he basically just mainly tells her he wants to keep it physical, not wanting to form any type of romantic relationship. Which of course is bothers Sam and even tells Marshall about this once they become closer and since she wants something more with him. So real quick, if I sound dead or very low, it's because first of all, I'm sick right now as I'm editing this, so like, there's that. And second of all, it is 12 in the morning. I'm gonna be waking my whole goddamn health if I like, spoke really loud, but anyways. So I wanted to we'll go more in depth about like her, like me saying like Sam wanted um, the relationship to form into nothing, just like physical, like into more something more into like relationship wise, like romantic and stuff. So basically, I was right but kind of wrong <laughs> because there's more to it. Where basically she mentions how she wants to form something in the sense that she wants to tell him how she feels because. She mentions how she likes him, but she doesn't like him at the same time. For example, she mentions how when they're both alone together, he's very different. He's very, like, more, like, showing his, like, compassionate side with her. While when they're at work, he's very different. And in a sense that it makes her feel more anxious. It makes her more self-conscious. Like, she's always second-guessing herself because of, like, how he is at work. And she wants to tell him, but at the same time, she feels like she can't due to the fact that she basically can't form a relationship with him and all that. And basically, she mentions how, like, another reason is because she thinks it would be too delicate to bring up. With, because for context, the day before the conversation with her and Marshall take place, because she's telling all this to Marshall, um she basically gets a visit from charles with charles telling her basically his past and stuff with like his married life and all that so because of that it makes it more difficult for her to say it with him so you know this i just wanted to bring that up anyways enjoy the rest of the video although there's a chance that something more could possibly happen but it'll turn south real quick as I mentioned before, Charles still gets tormented by the past, thinking that he'll get hurt again, which is why he doesn't really try to get close with Sam, but the heart does want to feel what it wants to feel, and it's shown that he does want something more with her, but again, he just can't do it. But of course, since he still wants to be with her, and since he still can't get over the past, the thought of losing Sam and having Sam be with someone else scares him, so he starts becoming possessive i guess you can say there's a panel in which they're basically in the bed cuddling and it's basically after they're done with their um <clears throat> patty cake session patty cake, patty cake, patty charles gets all close to her and says mine with the shadow of chains going around sam there's another few panels where sam has chains around her again and is a bit conflicted with going near charles who is wearing his old wedding 
ring as a necklace. It then shows people with chains around him with his ex-wife in the back wearing a wedding dress and holding a thing that you use to control puppets, indicating that he's still clearly not over her and that she still controls him in a sense that it makes it difficult for him to form any type of normal relationship with anybody. Which then explains why he's being possessive towards her and basically starts making him a walking red flag as if he already wasn't, but whatever. Mostly. When he decides to look at Sam's phone, since he notices that she got a message from Marshall and starts getting jealous over this, which I personally don't really understand why, since Marshall was literally just saying that he, like, hoped that she felt better after venting to him the day before and saying that he's there for her if she needs him. Like, you know, like any good friend would, but whatever. Anyways, it does seem like the author was trying to now show in a way how toxic the relationship could be in the future since he's doing stuff like this and isn't over his ex-wife. I will say all of this seems very interesting and would want to know what happens when it comes to this since it left off on a cliffhanger. But who knows how long that'll be and I'll explain why in a bit because as much as I'm saying all of this and it sounds so interesting, I will say that the plot does have a few problems though. <laughs> As I mentioned before, the plot took a whole 180 turn and changed as time went on. So instead of an enemies to lovers but neighbors who play video games edition, it's now a Fifty Shades of Grey comic with some video game references in there too, just to sprinkle it in, you know? Which I personally found it very distasteful as I kept reading since the plot that captured my attention in the beginning was now gone. Mostly when a horrible, disgusting creature came from the depths of the shadows. That's right, Charles. Boo! And listen, listen, I know this probably sounds so off, mostly since I just gave you his tragic anime emo backstory, and I said it was really interesting. This still doesn't stop me from not liking him, though. As I mentioned before, Charles is not the best character. That's an understatement. He's not a good character in the sense that I want to blow him up. And as I mentioned before, I'm not the only one that feels like that. A lot of people who have dropped this comic don't like him. For many reasons as I mentioned before, and I'm gonna mention another one right now that I didn't mention earlier because I wanted to save for this section of the video. But this could make some people uncomfortable for the reasonings I'm gonna put in the screen right now. So if this makes you uncomfortable, I recommend you to skip to this part of the video for you don't have to hear about this and all that. But now that we have that out of the way, let's continue. For context, toward the end of season 2, Sam and Charles go out to eat and they both order something and a drink. Sam orders something non-alcoholic and Charles orders something alcoholic. Hi, editing cake notes here. So basically, I don't know how to fucking read <laughs> because I looked back at the Pacific page where she was like, you know, drinking the like alcohol and stuff and like ordering it apparently she didn't know it was alcoholic because she was just trying to order coffee but she ended up ordering something alcoholic by accident so that was like completely my bad i just wanted to point that out because this is like very in important information that y'all shouldn't like not know about just because of my fucking mistake so continue on with the video I think you know where I'm going with this. And as I mentioned before, I'm not the only one that feels like that. A lot of people who have dropped this comic don't like him. But if you don't, basically, their drinks got switched. So Sam ends up drinking Charles's drink and ends up being drunk. Charles then takes her to his house since they couldn't really drive safely to her house since she kept distracting him. Like, bro was about to make them go fucking flying and crash. <laughs> So, you know, he takes her there and lets her sleep, and you would think, oh, that's it, right? Right? <laughs> ah. No. Sam wakes up and goes to Charles' room and basically tries to seduce him to do the... <laughs> to save you some time, nothing happened between them, thankfully, since Charles said no because, you know, she was drunk, which is good. But, of course, when the scene came out, nothing was really said about it. Sam trying to sleep with Charles was the last part of season 2 finale and nothing was really said if they did something or not so people had to just 
take a guess until season 3 came out. I personally felt that this was very weird because of just the whole scene of Sam being drunk and trying to sleep with her boss so you can just start thinking of the worst that happened at the moment. From the power dynamic to Sam not being sober enough to properly consent. We didn't get any updates until May 28th, 2021 when Manji posted a promo drawing for season 3 which seemed very suggestive. I understand that we left off season 2 with Sam trying to sleep with Charles and all and basically showing that that's where it was gonna pick up on but it still was you know, off for me. Mostly since people didn't know if something was gonna happen between them or not at the time season 2 was released. And Manji didn't really say anything about what really happened between them. It could be for many reasons as to why she didn't. Maybe it was because it didn't seem like a big deal. People didn't really say anything to make it a big deal. She didn't want to give details about season 3 just yet and etc. The only time that Manji spoke about this one was she p replied to like someone's comment under the promo art on Instagram saying nothing happened between them. But this is mainly based on memory, so take that with a grain of salt. Personally, I felt that the part of the comic was a bit weird. It wasn't really needed and maybe something different could have like happened instead of Sam being drunk and trying to sleep with her boss. Moving on though, another thing is that at times there's plots that seemed interesting and will have like a possible impact yet nothing happens. An example of this is basically when it comes to Angela, who's one of Sam's friends. To make it short, we find out later on that she was assaulted by a man which caused her to turn her fear into anger. We saw this once she was having a panic attack when Link was holding her back and she ended up biting him since Link wouldn't let her go. And I find this so ironic since he was literally told to let her go and, I, and from what I remember he is a nurse or something and i don't think nurses should re really be doing that if like someone is in that sort of state so yeah but anyways he ended up getting bitten and all that and basically we end up seeing like her fear turn into anger once he lets her go and basically she starts yelling at him for it. Link finds that later on due to Sam telling him which is another interesting thing to me since Angela literally told him hey don't tell Link. And then right after Link finds out and Angela apologized for what happened it's not really touched upon after that and you know to me at least it just made it seem like it was supposed to just set up Link and Angela's relationship with each other and that's it and I would have loved to have it seem get touched upon again mostly when it comes to Sam telling him since Angela really literally told him like told him hey do not tell Link about it please I don't want Link to find out and Sam proceeds to fucking tell him I would have loved to see Angela's reaction to finding out about that and the argument they would have had because you know Sam who is literally her friend, betrayed her trust and told Link, even though he told her not to. And it didn't even come from Angela herself telling him, like willingly and stuff. Like he had to find out by someone else. So, you know, Sam really just earned the best friend award here. But anyways, and you know, I could be speaking a little too soon because we still have to wait for season four. Oh, wait. <gasps> On November 9th, 2022, Manji said that she wouldn't be working with Webtoon anymore, which means she wouldn't be working on season 4 for the comic for them anymore. She mentioned that the issues she had with Webtoon which led to her leaving was because Webtoon excluded Let's Play from marketing and put Let's Play under age restriction, with her saying that it wasn't fair they did this to her comic while well, there's far worse comics out there on the website slash app. I can see her point of view on this and don't get me wrong there are far worse like comics out there but I personally don't really think it's bad that they put her comic under age restriction mostly because the comic did have sexual stuff in it like this which is really something. Ew. And I like to point out all of this happened was because her and Charles were kissing that's it yes i got it from the comic no i didn't get it from patreon nor twitter so take that as you will <laughs> and don't get me wrong like i mentioned before compared to this to all the other webtoons out there this is like one of the less worst ones that i've seen because again there is far worse far more horrendous comics out there that are just scot-free they are just there living their best lives and they shouldn't 
They should be behind bars. They should not be there. And what makes it worse is that if you check on the like app store, it says 12 and plus. That means that that's their intended audience that is for teens. Yet shit like inappropriate shit that they should not be seeing it's on there and it's accessible. And it's like, well, they have the age restriction. The age restriction doesn't do shit either because literally I can just say, yes, I'm 18 plus. And it'll like immediately take me to go see whatever I want to see. Not even like stopping me or anything. Like confirming my age to put my birthday. So you know, there's that. But anyways. Other than that, she also mentions that Let's Play isn't really cancelled though. That it'll just be on hiatus due to her not knowing where the comic is going to be uploaded. Mostly since she would technically have to start from the beginning if she's going to post on a new comic site. Until then, there hasn't really been anything about Let's Play other than like Manji posting art of like the characters. Even like starting a Kickstarter of like a dating sim she wants to do of the characters. So, you know, there's that. Let's Play's original plot, the one that we were first introduced to, wasn't bad. I thought it was interesting. It's just really a shame that the plot changed drastically as the comic continued since it had a lot of potential. I would have loved to see what would have happened if they kept it like how it was like originally advertised to people. Then again, I did hear that everything that happened in the comic was all planned out to the very end. So take that as you will from it. In general, Let's Play wasn't horrible. Mostly at the start, it's just sad to see like, you know, how much it changed to the point that the original plot we were given isn't there anymore. But that's mainly it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm trying to do new things and I might do videos like this more in the future. So if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and leave me a suggestion on to like what webtoon to talk about. And you can even like comment your thoughts of like the comic and maybe anything that I miss. Just remember to not like, you know, harass anybody, of course. I hope you all have an amazing day or night and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.